OpenAI was founded by Elon and Sam in 2015 with a great sense of urgency and responsibility. However, there are seldom people truly understand what the company really does. So after reading through most of the blogs and research papers on OpenAI's website, I'm finally ready to share with you guys some of my thoughts and ideas of that company. I'm Lei. Let's jump right into it. I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. We are summoning the demon, you know. OpenAI was founded in the midst of a lot of changes. The premise of its story is kind of based upon our belief that AI is truly going to be sentient in the future. However, even if you're not a believer of that just yet, I think we still need to stay humble to the mission of OpenAI, which is to enact the path of safe artificial general intelligence and ensure artificial general intelligence benefits are as widely and evenly distributed as possible. Safety research in the field of AI is not new. It's been there for years. However, the problem is that we have never seen such explosion in the field of AI before 2012. The growth of AI is stunning, especially with so much money and talents flowing into this field. Elon has in more than one occasion mentioned that there is a double exponential at work. The exponential increase in the resources put into AI projects, as well as the exponential growth in the hardware capacity that runs AI programs. The scientific world is in consensus about AI surpassing human intelligence. In fact, as long as we agree upon the following assumptions, AI superintelligence is basically inevitable. The assumptions are, number one, intelligence is the product of information processing. Number two, we will continue to improve the artificial intelligence. And number three, humans are not at the peak of intelligence. The first two assumptions are pretty clear, so let me explain on the last one. It means we agree that if we are smarter than a chimpanzee, there is at least a possibility of some superintelligence that is smarter than us. Hence, we have to admit that there is a good chance that a sentient AI will be created sometime in the future. However, because of a double exponential at work, this will make sure the already inevitable happen even earlier. Furthermore, since there is no physical limitation to the AI machines, we are almost certain that AI will not just reach human intelligence and stop there. It will continue on and eventually, the intelligence of AI comparing to us will be like us comparing to ants. Now, I want you all to take a moment and think about last time you killed an ant. That's right, you probably don't even remember just like me because they are irrelevant. This is precisely why OpenAI was created. To ensure the superintelligence that is being created is safe to us and at the same time will not deem us as irrelevant. When it comes to our existence, we cannot take chances. But you might be wondering, shouldn't AI growth be a good thing for our future? It means less work for us, right? Yes, you're right. AI being a good friend of ours is surely one of the more probable outcomes. But since AI can be so powerful, how can we ensure that it's not used by the bad people? Picture North Korea monopolizing superintelligence and imagine what the outcome would be for the USA. It's definitely not the most beautiful sight. This is the reason for the second part of OpenAI's mission, which according to Elon, is to democratize superintelligence. It's kind of like the situation of the Avengers. If you only have the aliens, they have the power to do whatever they want. However, if you also have the Hulk, the Thor, the Iron Man to keep the aliens in check, the world is much safer. Now that we have a good background understanding of our situation, we can finally jump into the solutions OpenAI has conceived with the best minds of the world. The first order of business was to identify possible safety concerns in the field of artificial general intelligence. This was proposed in a 29 pages research paper. Here I'll summarize the five key possible safety concerns and takeaways mentioned in the paper. In the paper, they also discussed ways to tackle these problems, but for simplicity of this video, I'll ignore that part. The original paper is linked down below if you're interested. So according to the paper, the safety concerns are, firstly, the AI agents needs to avoid negative side effects. Secondly, the AI agents needs to avoid reward hacking. Thirdly, the agent needs to be robust to distributional shifts. Fourthly, the agent needs to perform safe exploration. Lastly, the agent needs to perform scalable oversight. 
Honestly, every single point mentioned above could be a video on its own. But since today we're talking about the company OpenAI instead of AI safety concerns, I'll start right here. Anyways, because of all the potential problems of the fast-growing AI technology and our inability to cope with these changes, OpenAI has made four tangible goals for the direction of the company. Notice that all four goals are actionables and they are all actively being worked on. You will see how Dota 2 fit into the picture once I introduce these four goals to you. So here we go. The first goal is to make the growth of the company more tangible. OpenAI started with setting metrics for its achievements. This is very important because OpenAI is a non-profit company and in order to make real progress, it needs to have a set of metrics. This matrix consists of a variety of OpenAI gene environment with a unified action and observation space. So put those technical jargons in plain words, OpenAI created a lot of observation spaces, which are games, robotics, language-based tasks, and so on, to measure the capacity of the created AI agents. The project is open source, hence AI agents will be created by anyone in the world, and the results are also shared with everyone in the world. The next three goals fall under the research section of the company and are all linked together, so I'll introduce all three of them at once. They are building a household robot, building an agent with useful natural language understanding, as well as solving multiple games using a single agent. These three goals seem to be unrelated, but they are not. Let me explain. Currently, the biggest challenge for any voice assistants out there is the general understanding of languages. Most of the existing voice assistants can perform excellently when it comes to specific questions. However, there isn't much complexity built into voice assistants like Siri or Google Assistant. They're pretty much still waiting for you to ask the set of expected questions. What OpenAI wants to achieve is the general understanding of languages like human. The AI needs to understand the contexts and references. Furthermore, when machines talk to machines, they can just send one another computer codes and numbers. But human would not be able to intuitively understand that. Language is still the interface between human and machine. This is the reason why OpenAI puts so much emphasis on natural language processing and make it one of their four technical goals. The second goal is to build a robot that could perform basic housework. I hope by now you can see how these goals link to each other. With the ability to process and analyze languages, robots are now finally able to perform tasks based on the instructions. This is especially hard when we're talking about general purpose robot. Nowadays, we already have intelligent fridge that helps you buy things online, intelligent floor cleaner, intelligent coffee maker, and so on. However, if you ask the coffee maker to clean the floor or the fridge to make coffee, they will not know what you're saying. Hence, what OpenAI wants to do is to make robots intelligent and eventually learn to perform any tasks it's asked, thus making the robot truly general. Lastly, the third goal is to solve multiple games with a single agent. It's very important that all the games are solved by a single agent because only this would exemplify the AI's ability to learn and adapt. As I mentioned in the previous goal, we already have AIs that perform specific tasks extremely well. What OpenAI wanted with the general purpose AI is something that has the ability to learn and perform any tasks that's given to him. For example, we can now train Dota AI to defeat world-class Dota players in a 1v1 match, but can we train the same Dota AI to play chess instead. This is the purpose of OpenAI's last technical go. Also, games basically are virtual worlds with similar real-world parameters like health, money, growth, skill set, and so on. Hence, playing Dota with AI can give researchers a lot of information on how AI improves over time as well as how artificial general intelligence can be applied in the real world. In conclusion, let me use Wait But Why's Game of Thrones reference to summarize the mission of AI. While every day we're busy fighting wars with one another, the real threat, however, lies north of the wall. Because AI is coming. Alright, thank you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed this video. I know this video is exceptionally long, but AI is such a huge topic that I think it deserves the attention. Give it a thumbs up if you actually are still watching. Again, I'm Lei, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.